Welcome to the second video of Revit Essential Training Series. In this video, we are going to look at a ribbon and quick access toolbar, in short, QAT. Now, I can't show you right now because I don't have any project open. So we're going to create a new project by simply clicking on architectural template. So once our project is ready, you can see we have the ribbon. This is the ribbon area. On the top, we have this quick access toolbar. Now let's look at some commands available in quick access toolbar. So we have the open, save, we have synchronize and modify setting, undo, redo, dimension commands, text, and so on. Now I'm going to show you how to customize this. So what we need to use the quick toolbar for? Well, let's say that you use this wall command frequently and you want to access that from quick access toolbar so you don't have to go to architecture tab and click on the wall command. So if you right click on the wall command, you will see the option add to quick access toolbar. I click on that and now I can see I have the wall command on the quick access toolbar. Now we have the option here. If you click on this button here, you will get the drop down menu. And these are the some default options you can add to quick access toolbar. So let's say I'm going to remove this save option on a quick access toolbar. So I would just simply uncheck save and it will go away. If you want to bring it back, click on this button, check this save command and it will come back. There's one more option I want to show you here. If you click on this button, you have the option show below the ribbon. So if I click on that, the quick access toolbar will jump from the top and it will show up below the ribbon. And this is the ribbon area. So why we want to show quick access toolbar below the ribbon? One reason could be that we, if we keep that on the top, I'll show you how to bring that back to top. So show above the ribbon, you have like some space here, but sometimes it's not enough. So if you want to add like 50 or 100 commands on a quick access toolbar, you might run out of the space. So if you bring it down, let me just go back to below the ribbon. And now we have a more space and we can add as many as command until we run out of the space. So this is one benefit of getting your quick toolbar at the bottom of the ribbon. I'm going to bring it back to the above the ribbon. Now let's look at a ribbon. Ribbon is customized in panels and tabs. We are in architectural tab right now, but we have a structure tab, which will change all the commands related to the structure. We have a system tab, which will change all the commands related to system, insert, annotate, analyze, and so on. And the last panel we have is a modify panel. Well, you might have more panels here if you have installed any plugin in Revit. Maybe you have installed Express tools, which are pretty common. So let's go back to architectural tab. And one tab is customized in panels. So we have a build panel here. We have circulation panel, model, room and area, opening, datum, work plane. So these are all the panels. So build panel has commands like wall, door, window, component, column, and so on. Now we have three kinds of buttons available on the ribbon as well. So the first type of button is just a button. So let's say we select this door command by clicking on this button and it will take us to this modify panel. So these are all the commands related to a door. So if you have clicked on it to get out from the command, you can press escape on the keyboard or you could simply click on modify command. Now the second type of button we have is like this arrow button at the bottom of the main command. So we have this wall command. So if I click on that wall command, it will start an architectural wall. Let's get out from the command by clicking on modify. And if I click on this arrow button here, it will give us a drop down menu. So we have wall architectural structure by face and two options are grayed out. We will talk about them later in the course. So the first command is always the command which you see on the top of the command. And then second two options, we have a structure and by face. So that's the second type of button available in Revit ribbon. Now the third type, I want to go to insert because I don't have that button on this architectural tab. We go to insert tab and here we have this import panel. So in the import panel, you will see this arrow button here. So once you click on this arrow button, 
it will pop up a dialog box where you have more options to customize that panel. Let's click cancel to get out. We go back to our digital tab. We can customize panels on the tab. So we are in architectural tabs. I want to show you how to customize this. So let's say I want to take this build panel and drop it somewhere else on my screen. So what would I'll do, I will just simply click on this build and then drag it down. As you can see, we can drag and drop these panels. Now we have the panel here. I can drag and take my room and area panel here. So they will stay here. Okay. So that's how you can customize your panels on the tab as well. So let's say you want to take it back. So we have this arrow button here. So it says return panel to the ribbon. So if I click on that, it will automatically take this panel and bring it back to where it's supposed to be on the ribbon. Now we do that same thing with this. I want to click on this return panel to ribbon and it will drop that panel to where it belongs.